What's up everybody and welcome to another light burn quick tips. Today we're going to take a look at radius corners and we're going to look at some of the options that light burn has given us to create radiuses on corners of various shapes. So we're going to start with one of the most basic which everybody seems to default to which is to take my basic rectangle shape. We're going to draw a rectangle on the screen and we want to radius the corner for this. So what I'm going to do Option number one is to go over to my Shape Properties box. Now if you don't have the Shape Properties box enabled, you can go up to Window and make sure that you have Shape Properties checked off. So in my Shape Properties, you'll notice in addition to Height and Weight, we also have a Corner Radius option. So a Corner Radius will, by default, take and apply a radius to all four corners of my rectangle. Um, so this is going to be, you know, your default unit of measurement. In my case, it's millimeters. So I've now just added a 10 millimeter radius to all four corners of this rectangle. What's neat, though, is I can actually also go into the negatives. So if I drop down into the negatives, I get that fun little, um, call it a marquee, call it a, a plaque. It's, uh, it's a fairly common shape that people use for engraving. Um, so, you know, if you're doing a plaque or something like that, maybe with a with an outer uh, shape around it. Um, so co negative corner radiusing will give you uh, that kind of that in cut, inset um, radius on each of the corners. So that's cool. Um, so that's the most simple version of a corner radius. Now, what you'll notice is that that corner radius option in shape properties doesn't apply to any other shapes. So if I have let's say a hexagon on the screen or I come out and I draw myself a triangle I don't have a corner radius option um, you know my default shapes for my hexagon or my polygon shape you know I can come in here and muck with my sides however many sides I want my triangle by default is already a path so it doesn't give me any of those options so it's only the rectangle that gives you the corner radius and only if the rectangle is still in its basic shape form so let's say we want to do something a little bit more advanced and we want to maybe radius just two corners or maybe radius corners at a different size so what Lightburn has done is they've given us a button over here called radius when you click radius you have the option to set the value to whatever the size radius you want um, in this case I'm gonna leave it at 15 and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna find the corner of my rectangle shape and you can see when I find the corner it changes to the little crosshairs and when I click that, it does a couple things. One, you'll see it applies the radius, and it applies the radius to only that corner. But more importantly, it has actually taken this and converted it from a simple shape of a rectangle to a, um, a path. So what you'll notice is that I lost all of my options over here for setting height and width and corner radius in my shape properties because this is no longer that generic uh, rectangle shape. It is now a path. It is now the equivalent of me drawing four lines and connecting them um, instead of being a smart object or, or, or a, a basic, a simple rectangle. But that gives me a little bit more flexibility in how I manipulate this shape. So by converting it to a path, I can now come through here and I can apply a radius only to where I want it. So if I want a radius on opposite corners there's a radius on opposite corners if I want to go a different size radius I can do that I can go a different size radius wherever I want now the only thing to pay attention to here is you can't kind of overflow the size of your radius past the nearest handle so what I mean by that is if I click on this corner everything's fine because my radius stops before we get to the next radius but if I were to increase this to say 60 which is what I'm pretty sure would try to overflow, and I try to click on that corner, it's not going to let me. So it's smart enough to know that if it tried to radius these two lines at a radius of 60, that that radius would actually go past this handle and into this curve. Um, and it really, since it's only trying to put a radius on A and B being these two lines, once you introduce this, this additional um, curve here it basically knows that it's not going to make sense so it prevents you from doing that so that's a neat little uh, feature to kind of protect you from doing something silly so as you can see just simply clicking and then 
um, clicking the corners gives me my radius. And it also, because now it's a path, it's created handles that I can use to manipulate my shape. So, you know, as if anybody's uh, familiar with, um, you know, working with curves in your in your Adobe Illustrator or uh, Inkscape or something like that, um, you know, we now have actual path um, curves that we can manipulate with the handles. And it's all because it converted it to a path. So same thing with my uh, my hexagon over here. Clicking a corner. Nope, that was the wrong button. That was the that's a different that's a different discussion. That's my start shape start point. Let's try this again. Clicking a radius allows me to click the corners of any shape that I want and it will automatically apply that radius. If it's not a path, it converts it to a path. If it is a path, great, it just applies my radius. So that's pretty much it. Um, play around with it. It's, uh, you can get a lot of neat shapes out of this by applying radiuses of different sizes to different corners. Um, as you can see, you can use it as starting points if you want to manipulate your shape even further from maybe a base point of having a, a smooth uh, corner radius on there. So, you know, play around with it and uh, and let us see what you come up with. Drop on over to, um, you know, forums lightburn or forum.lightburnsoftware.com and uh, drop into the um, kind of show off your creations area and, and let's see what you've come up with by playing with the radius. And until next time, uh, thanks for stopping by.